Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on Larry's Telegram channel called Tartaria and History Channel. Please check the description to know more about his channel. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the links is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. This is a photo of the Great Giza Pyramid in full working condition. The tetrahedral device is an organ accumulator. Organ, light spiral unifier, is also known as chi, chi, prana, life force, ether, orbs, etc. The generator for this device lies within the king's chamber, and is the Ark of the Covenant. Many Egyptians carried anks as a means of restoring their Taurus fields with electromagnetic energy, that was dispersed through the air as a form of free energy in Kemet. Charles S. L. Baker (1859–1926) was an African-American inventor who patented the friction heater. Baker received an education at Franklin College. The passing of water through components generates heat due to friction. This heat is utilized. So, for every one hour of usage, the integrated friction manifold technology can raise the temperature of water by 3 degrees without the use of electrical power. It seems that there is a tradition of making devices that produce energy, just to patent them to get them off the market. You decide. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. When you think of the devil, you probably picture cloven hoofed red beasts with horns sprouting out of their head. But as the saying goes, the devil comes in many forms. Satan, Lucifer, Beelzebub, Mephistopheles, whatever you want to call the man with the pitchfork, he has gone through many transformations throughout history. Sometimes the devil doesn't even look like the devil. This is the mosaic in the Basilica of Santa Pauliner Nuovo in Ravenna, Italy. One of these angels is naughty. He defied God, and got kicked out of heaven. Can you guess which one represents the fallen angel who became Lucifer? You might have thought, it was the grumpy guy in red holding up his hand to stop the livestock traffic. But red wasn't really the color of evil until the 20th century. In the first Christian depictions of Satan, he wore blue. During the Middle Ages, artists portraying the devil drew inspiration from their favorite vilified source, women. In the ancient Babylonian text, demons were called Lilidu. These early devils were winged females who seduced men and stole their souls. Another giant find. A day or two since, some workmen engaged in subsoiling the grounds of Sheriff Wiccan, at his vineyard in East Wheeling, came across a human skeleton. Although much decayed, there was little difficulty in identifying it by placing the bones, which could not have belonged to others than a human body, in their original position. The impression made by the skeleton in the earth and the skeleton itself were measured by the sheriff and a brother in the craft locale, both of whom were prepared to swear that it was 10 feet 9 inches in length. Its jaws and teeth were almost as large as those of a horse. What do you think? Mercury Flotation System 
It is common practice for lighthouses with large Fresnel lenses to use mercury baths as a low friction rotation mechanism. The mercury bath consisted of a donut-shaped basin, in which a relatively small amount of mercury was placed. It had been discussed since the early 1800s, but wasn't put into practical use until the 1890s apparently. From what I've found, many of these lighthouses seem to be from our lost past. What do you think? On May 28, 1937, the government of Germany, then under the control of Adolf Hitler of the National Socialist Nazi Party, forms a new state-owned automobile company, then known as Gesellschaft zur Verbereitung der Deutschen Volkswagens MBH. Later that year, it was renamed simply Volkswagen Work, or the People's Car Company. Germany and Austria were heavily into the occult science, and to me, it's very obvious they knew all about Tesla, and the importance of 369. So own symbolism is so close to your nose, you look straight past it. Do you think this VW symbol is just a coincidence? Also for fun, if you did a mirror image of the number 3, it would make a torus. And if you turned the 69 on its side, you'd get the magnetic poles would be interested in what our German subscribers think about this. The discovery was made in a coal mine in the Rostov, Russia in 2008. At a depth of about 1 km below the surface, there's a wheel embedded in the rock. One of the miners took a selfie with the wheel. Unfortunately, not long after the discovery, the mine was flooded, and any further research halted. I wonder is the wheel attached to anything else? What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end. I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.